So this short, sharp, conversationalized interview that I have featuring special guest TechWrite is going to be about everything 3D printing, where the future is taking us with this technology, all the way down to how did seven-year-old Tomo start learning it for himself. And they give hints and, and tips about how to learn it and, and how to get into it and how to inspire yourself using this technology. Now, for those who don't know about TechWrite, I'll give you a little bit of background. So. Jay Wright is a technologies teacher at a local Tuma school by day, and by night he goes home with his son Tomo, and they work on their 3D printing business. Now, uh, Jay actually only started 3D printing because the school wanted him to teach design thinking. And suddenly, realizing the potential of this, this technology, both in and outside the classroom, he bought a printer and he taught himself, and also he taught his son Tomo. Now, from that point, Tomo actually realized the uh, commercial significance of this technology and he spent all his pocket money buying his very first 3D printer to pursue a business in 3D printing. Now initially that started with just printing toys for his friends, but now that business has expanded massively. I mean they've got a 7 printer uh, 3D printing farm at the moment and business is going exceptionally well for them. So uh, sit back and relax and enjoy this interview. And I know you're gonna take a lot of value out of having these guys explain just where 3D printing is taking them and taking us. Awesome, all right. So um, can I get you guys to introduce yourselves and talk a little bit about what you do and how does this tech, this 3D printing kind of fit into what you guys do? Okay, well, I'm Jay and this is Tomo. And uh, we make we make stuff with uh, 3D printing. We make cool stuff with 3D printing. Yeah. Um, I suppose uh, this whole uh, business or this whole um, project came about through 3D printing. Um, and uh, yep. yeah, obviously nothing we do could be done without it. So yeah, <laughs> really the key tool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and you guys mostly um, do you kind of create things from scratch, and do you get do you print stuff for people, or how does that all work? Um, sometimes we get things from Thingiverse, which the models are already created, but sometimes we model them ourselves in design softwares, and then print them out. Cool. And people pay you guys to print stuff sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, um, initially we we uh, had to put it out there and explain to people what we're doing. But currently, um, yeah, we've just flooded with different things that people want us to make. And yeah, it's, wow. it's amazing. I suppose it's so versatile that you can pretty much do anything. So, hmm. um, so our, our, uh, audience or our, um, you know, people who are interested in our product is basically everyone. So yeah. yeah. It's becoming one of those things. It was, it was very brand new, probably five, 10 years ago. And nowadays people are knowing about you. So, that's probably why you're growing a bit. Everyone's starting to catch up to you. So, yeah. I suppose, yeah, people have to understand what 3D printing is and what it's capable of before they request your services, you know. So mm. I think it's um, people are becoming more aware of it these days. What it is, yeah. And, and yeah. Tommy, can I just ask, because I'm not sure, but how old are you? Ten. Ten. Wow. Cool. And, and when did you start? How young were you when you started? Um, seven. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, cool, cool. All right. And I've seen some of your modeling skills and I think, you know, everyone else who has would agree that you're pretty good now. So <laughs> great well, we've got the little chest that he modeled on there. Yeah. So oh, the loot chest. Uh, yeah. The loot chest is here on display. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So cool. Awesome. All right. The next question I had for you guys was um, what made you start using 3d printing to start with? Like where was the start? You know, the very first thing you did or project, or, or when did you think, when was that point you kind of thought, well, let's do some 3D printing? Um, Dad had a printer um, that I was interested about how it worked and what it used to work. So I saved up my pocket money and bought my own printer. Oh. And then um, I was printing things for myself, family and friends for pocket money. And then... Um, I thought we could start a business and then, yeah. Wow. So, um, and I mean, I had a 3D printer, uh, probably just interested through work because I'm technologies and design teacher at our school. So I was just sort of looking into it. I know it's a powerful tool for uh, teaching design and um, it's an upcoming 
technology that's transforming the way we do a lot of things. So, wow, yeah, and it's just a great thing we can do together. It's very interesting and a lot of fun. So, yeah, yeah, and and I'd say, um, but how much pocket money did you save for your first printer, Tommy? Um, my printer was like one hundred and sixty dollars. It was on wow. discount. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That is, yeah, that's a lot of work for a, you know, for a kid. So, yeah, cool. Oh, wow. Sounds like you were pretty brave back then. So, good work, Tomo. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was very hard for him to save the initial amount of money because he didn't have any source of income other than just mowing and, yeah. and uh, you know, doing chores and stuff like that. But as soon as he got that printer, pocket, the money started rolling in, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now he's rich. <laughs> That's so, right. A lot of the things that, a lot of the toys he has, he's bought with his uh, money from his 3D printing. So, Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's great. He'll be employing you soon. Maybe. You know, yeah, well, I do say he's the CEO and I'm the, uh, I'm the employee. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. Cool, cool. All right. Um, and I suppose because I, I know there's obviously lots of technology you, you guys could get into. Um, so why, I suppose... What is the coolest thing about 3D printing for you guys? Like, why is it so useful or why is it a standout thing? Um, with 3D printing, it's good because you can print with any sort of plastic, any shape, any size um, on the same machine. You don't need any molds. Yeah. So yeah. you can pretty much just make anything. And I think that's like you watch uh, – sci-fi movies and things like that you see someone press a button and the little machine makes whatever you want it's kind of like having that you know like you can, just, <laughs> yes. you can pretty much make anything you can imagine and i mean recently we've gotten a lot into design and that's really empowered us because not only we can print things that other people have designed but we can come up with our own ideas and uh it's just endless like what mm. you can do with you know being able to design models and then be able to print them you can solve any problem that you, that you come across. So, yeah. Um, and, and quickly, hey, like like uh, yeah. being from an engineer background, when you get something manufactured, you're usually waiting for weeks yeah. and there's a lot of communication errors. And yeah, so how fast do 3D printers print? Hey, so. So like, I mean, um, we were uh, helping someone. Someone um, was designing a, a funnel, a new type of funnel, and we were helping him through the prototyping stage of that. So we were printing prototypes for him to take them to his um, manufacturing team or the team that he was working with. Um, and it took, takes months and months and months and tens of thousands of dollars to have something mass produced like that. Mm -hmm. um, whereas like, you know, the other day I had an idea about this little button system um, to help one of the kids at our school uh, communicate. And I had the idea, I designed the model, I 3D printed it and I took it to school the next day uh, <laughs> to be able to test it. So like, it's pretty amazing what the power that you have when you have the knowledge of 3D design and then you have the ability to print what you might, what you um, have designed. It's, um, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. Hey, it's so quick. And um, I suppose it, is there a particular design for you, Tomo, that you've, you've done really quick. You've had an idea, you've made it happen and you were pretty happy with it. Um, I've designed a baby Yoda that I can. <laughs> that's so cool. I remember seeing it. It was so amazing. And I think it's here. Oh, it's <laughs> here. Oh, right. we, we, we got to show everyone that one, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, this one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> it's even got a jacket. It's all, it's in yeah, there. Yeah, it's all warmed up. Rather. <laughs> it's like the cuddliest toy. Everyone dreams of having a baby Yoda. And uh, you got a 3D printer, you can have one. <laughs> you can have one, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Or, or you guys will just manufacture thousands for Australia if there's enough to meet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool. All right. Um, so I suppose out of all the projects you've done, and even there's some in the background that look amazing, but what would be your favourite ones or the coolest ones, do you reckon, that you've done? Um, I have three of my favourite. I've got the ATST, which is on my right there. Yeah. Um, it's a massive neck. And I've got the full size Spider Man. Wow. And, like, um, wow. Okay. This is only part of the Harry Potter castle, but we printed the whole Harry Potter castle for a train display. Wow. That's insane. Yeah. And so, so we're actually working on that at the moment uh, for someone. He's making yeah. a Hogwarts train display. So. <laughs> mm. 
That's, cool. That's incredible. And how, like, even just the, the one on your right there, um, how many parts is it? Or, or, you know, is it made of different parts? Or can you explain for some people who are new to 3D printing, how did you kind of put that together? Well, we, act, we have quite a big printer. So we can print some pretty large parts. Our, our largest printer is uh, 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres by 50. So it's a <laughs> you know, quarter of a cubic metre. And so we can print his whole head in one piece. Uh, oh. Often we will cut parts, though, to make them print better. I think once you learn about supports and y you learn how to slice parts so that they print better. Uh, but there's probably like maybe 15 parts in this model behind us. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's actually, it was actually designed uh, to be a lot smaller. It was designed to be about 40 centimetres tall. We just magnified it like maximum <laughs> size we could. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's wow. amazing. But we printed some pretty massive things. I mean, we've, um, we've, we've helped someone with the R2-D2, life-size R2-D2, and a Falcon wow. 9 rocket, and, like, uh, yeah, just some pretty massive builds. <laughs> and I think that's what we enjoy doing the big stuff. Hmm. Because it's um it's impressive and it feels good yeah. to put it together. So yeah. and, and you've I think you I saw on your page a little while ago you were selling your T Rex just because it was so huge. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gone now. So it's gone. Yeah, that yeah. would have been hard to store. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We actually, um, you know, having kids in the house uh, gets uh, hooked it hooks on people and it falls over all the time. And the amount of times you had to glue that thing back together. <laughs> we've got to get rid of it so we can work on more projects so yeah that's it yeah no cool all right um the next question i had for you guys is because obviously you've done a lot of 3d printing and you've seen it used in different applications even just what you guys are getting asked to do all the time so i suppose the next qu next question is where do you think 3d printing will take most people like people how will their everyday life be changed from this type of technology? Have you got any ideas or where you think it might be really useful? Um, I mean, there's uh, a lot of people talking about this at the moment because 3D printing is uh, becoming a lot faster, a lot more reliable, and you're able to use a lot more different types of materials. Um, mm. I think the way 3D printing, where 3D printing really fits in is that it's very versatile and um you could be manufacturing one thing one day and the next day you could be doing something different and you can make changes. So <clears throat> in rapid pro prototyping, you know, uh, in the process of designing things, it's uh, going to play a major part. Um, but eventually I think they've got printers now that can print a human-sized object in 24 hours, um, wow. new types of printing techniques that, um, you know, if you can print things that quickly, um, possibly manufacturing might change a little bit rather than having centralized manufacturing plants um there could be more localized manufacturing you might order a design and have it printed um mm. or even possibly even personal um manufacturing systems in your households um where you can like purchase something from ikea and it prints in your garage and then that's right put it in your house so but i mean some of the biggest impacts are, are going to happen in um you know the medical industry um, you know, talking about 3D printing um, organs and, and stuff for mm. patients, you know, it's going to have a major impact on people and prosthetics, things that you, you're not going to make a hundred prosthetics for John, just one is going to fit mm. John. So 3D printing is great for that kind of um, application. Um, so I think it, for our health, for our health and our well-being, um, 3D printing is probably going to play a big role in that. And also another one is, um, you know, Big um, businesses or buildings um, like hospitals will have 3D printing capability. So they might have some people. There's already in the Toowoomba Hospital, um, there's a person mm. who's in charge of 3D printing and they just solve problems with 3D printers. So someone will come to them and say, look, this trolley uh, or this machine uh, has, a, has a problem with this part. There are no parts available for this uh, for this machine. Can you make something for it? So yeah, that person yeah. can just go and solve that problem. So that's yeah. it. And and uh, I think it really um, pairs well with other technologies too to do that unique <laughs> manufacturing, like lidar scanning and, and things like that. I don't know. Have you guys ever used lidar a little bit? Yes. Yeah, we have actually. We did uh, a few. We scanned uh, a few people. Um, yeah, Obviously, yeah. the, the technology is out there to scan small objects very accurately. Um, and 
having the ability to have the 3D print things out of metal, um, you're looking mm. at um, car applications already. There's a, a, a company that's 3D printing um, rocket engine parts and uh, rocket fuel tanks. But that could yeah. translate then into the automotive industry, you know, possibly, um, you know, engine parts, um, taking something that has hundreds or thousands of parts and just bringing it down to just something that just has one part. Yeah. You know? So I think that's, uh, it, it um, is really beneficial, especially for rockets that are, such, that are often overly complicated. And if the more you can simplify them, the more reliable they are and um, less yeah, things so to fail. And, yeah. Yeah, we can talk about application forever. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just talk about space, talk about building, you know, even, um, houses, they're 3D printing houses. Mm. Um, you know, a lot of the material they're using is just the dirt from the building site. They can mm. mix it with some things and they can 3D print a house for like $1,000. So yeah, that, providing shelter for people, it's, it's, um, it's amazing. Mm. And I, I think that's it. When, when you look at these things as what they can do, you can realize just how useful of a tool for almost anything they, they can be. Um, yeah, so like I don't it, think it's going to be one particular thing. It's going to be everywhere. Yeah. Um, you know, in, used in all – I mean, the, the good thing about 3D printing is it's versatile. It can be used in so many different ways. So it's going to be used in lots of different ways. So Yeah, 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 that's it. No, that's – yeah, that's a great answer. It's really interesting. And, and I suppose um, – kids like Tomo with some experience, he's going to be, you know, you're going to be way ahead now, Tomo, with all the stuff you're doing. Um, yeah. So you're going I to think too, the demand for people who know how to 3D model, uh, make the models that mm. do be printed, um, will be a lot higher as well with all this yeah. influx of um, small scale manufacturing and that sort of thing. So That's yeah. it. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. No, cool. All right. Um, and uh, I've got another question for you, and I'll, I'll start with Tomo to see, see how he goes with this one. It's a little bit of a tricky one, but I was going to ask, um, developing your knowledge in, and you touched on this a little bit a while ago, but in the 3D printing, how has that helped you do things that maybe other kids probably haven't started to do yet? Or has it given you a few career opportunities that you never would have thought of or being an entrepreneur? So, yeah, how, how have you found that? Um, maybe like how has 3D printing sort of changed your life possibly yeah yeah that's a good one yeah. I think that 3D printing is amazing because it's quick and um, and you've been able to have you been able to how much not how much money but have you been able to make a fair bit of money using just 3D printing skills yeah. Yeah. And you'd probably say most kids wouldn't be able to do that at the moment. Um, I think kids could um, make money from 3D printing. Yeah. As long as they know how to. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So it's like something that probably requires practice. But I mean, your 3D printer is like a little money making machine, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a little investment, but it pays off. Yeah. <laughs> It's so cool. Like I remember when I was your age, I was I was just I don't know washing up for money, doing the chores, which I'm not saying kids shouldn't do, but uh, I wish I had some skills like like Tomo, you know, these types of skills, because um, I could tell I from seeing from what you guys do, I can tell you, Tomo would have a lot more skills than some of the engineers I know in terms of three D design, which is incredible because you know you're ten years old. So um, yeah, it's I think it's pretty insane. So well done, Tomo. Yeah, yeah I mean, I suppose it, it starts off with just an interest in uh, in uh, 3D printing and technology, but it can lead you a lot of different places. So, he's, mm. um, yeah, he's doing well. He's actually, one of his models is uh, a part of Maker's Empire um, website launching in China soon. Whoa. So, he made a wow. drone and it, it'll be one of the featured uh, designs there. So, Whoa. That's, that's pretty incredible. amazing but for the whole of China. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you've gone global yeah. already. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, getting, no, that's getting famous. Getting famous. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you have to get signatures before you get too famous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, and I suppose um, as a bit of advice, and, and it's good to ask you two specifically, because Jay, you're a teacher and Tomo, you're one of these kids that we're trying to kind of get to this level of, of um, expertise. But how would you suggest that kids kind of your age Tomo, start learning this and how would you say what would be the best way to get a kid into it is it certain projects is it playing around is it 
you know, what type of things would you say? Um, I would think they could sh- should start um, with designing 3D modeling, um, 3D modeling things for um, fun. And then yep. if they're interested, they could save up for a 3D printer and print those models and yeah. Yeah. So just playing around with it first and getting a bit of feel for it and having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah that's great. I'd agree. I'd agree with starting with some 3D modeling because that's free. It doesn't cost anything. Mm. Yeah. And I suppose uh, I've always found, especially when I've done it myself and, and kids I've had, is when they create it from scratch, they have more of an ownership of it. You know, it's they're a bit more proud of what they've printed. Um, so, yeah, I 100% agree. Like getting them to start with that design and then going from there. Yeah, I think it's really easy for kids to get into 3D modeling and design too because it, you can fail as many times as you like. You're not going to waste any materials or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and that's a valuable skill, you know, knowing how to how to create a model for some of something. Um, mm. Yeah, I think that's the, the, the foundation for them going and printing things. Printing things, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And what was your first design, Tomo? Do you remember that far back? Um, I remember on Dad's iPad, um, I was designing this pencil holder for school. It was like a building, a hollow building. Oh, yeah. Pencils in. Wow. That's and that was your very first. first. Yeah, it's probably easier first one, actually. Good memory. Wow. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> cool. No, that's awesome. And, and I've got one other, one last question for you guys, I suppose. And, and because I know a lot of kids are going to be watching this and thinking, obviously admiring all the cool stuff you've got, even in your background. And that's probably not even, I don't know, a 10th of what you guys have done. But um, I suppose where can they get in contact with you guys if they want to buy some of your products like the Baby Yoda or if they want to follow you and see what you make? Like where can they kind of reach you at? Yeah, so I suppose um, we can have a link to the Facebook page. We'll chuck um, a link so have, in, yeah. We have a, we have a Facebook page and pretty much, um, you know, people can just message us with their ideas and we can talk about whether that's possible or not. Um, but also we have the YouTube channel, uh, which you can probably mm. also provide a link if that's all yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, and, yeah, people can watch. We create all sorts of cool movies and time lapses of us putting things together um, through the YouTube channel. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I've been on YouTube channel quite a bit watching all the stuff you do. So, yeah, no, we'll, we'll put a link at the at the end of this and um, hopefully some kids can see what you guys make because it's pretty incredible. So, Again, a massive thank you to you, TechRite. Uh, having the insights of a technologies teacher as well as such a young kid getting into technology is absolutely invaluable. For anyone who wants to follow TechRite, we've got some links here that you can follow. They are on Facebook, they are on YouTube, and you can also email Jay in case you've got any questions about what they do. I myself always follow their YouTube channel. They've got an incredible channel where they show exactly how they make awesome things. So I highly encourage everyone to check them out, but we'll actually have them here for the next session. They're going to be collaborating with us to show exactly how do you transform something that's 3D printed into an actual saleable product so there's so many cool things that you can do with 3d printing after you print it and they'll be showing exactly how they do it so we'll catch you guys then